Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 19th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a full space weather update, world weather forecast, and earthquake update. Having a look at the last 48 hours on the sun, our sun does not look very happy right now. Kind of looks like he's got two eyes and a sad face. After releasing that M-class solar flare, not in an earth-facing direction. But still, all of these sunspots are very complex. Going to be keeping an eye on them as they circle around the sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Mostly the active sunspot regions and as well the M-class solar flare. Looking at outgoing not much to talk about in the outgoing position. The Earth to scale size is just phenomenal. It blows my mind. Such an amazing universe we live in. Closer look at all of the events for the past 48 hours. As we did have B, C and M class solar flares coming from these fiery regions. Another close look at the M-class solar flare and as well multi-spectrum. Looking at all of the events from the last 48 hours. Earth-facing coronal hole. And we're already seeing the coronal hole wind stream. Our KP index is sitting at 4 right now. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral. Still only showing the large M-class solar flare. Not directed at anything or anyone. Lasco 2 here. Showing the last 48 hours. We have the full view of the M-class solar flare now. I want to thank all of the researchers and developers who make this possible. And again, I want to thank all of the viewers for inv inviting me into your living rooms or wherever you may be watching the daily events worldwide. Solar X-ray flux remains in B-class range and geomagnetic activity. As I said, KP index is sitting at 4, so elevated just under 5. Real-time solar wind, and this is why 476 kilometers per second our coronal hole wind stream is definitely here because we always see the density bunches pile up. Look at they were coming in at 51 bunches per second. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 15. Slightly elevated power today. Amplitude of 15 and quality of 9.9. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours around the world. Brought to you by Walton 3D, Earthquake 3D. Largest reported today, 6.3 Labasa, Fiji, at a 10-kilometer depth. And as well, just south of there, we had another volcano awaken. Stay tuned. We will be showing you that in a moment. 4.9 there as well, just west. 4.6 here, Indonesia right by Luwatolo, the Banda Sea, 176 kilometer depth, 4.6 here in San Lorenzo, Philippines, and then a pretty rare earthquake here, 5.6 in Laos, Thailand, 10 kilometer depth, very populated area, I'm sure a lot of people were feeling that one, as well, 5.3 here, Bamboo Flat, India, 4.7 in Malabo, Indonesia, as well, a 4.6 continuing on here through Izu Islands, Japan. And as well, 4.4 Kuril Islands, 121 kilometer depth. Overlooking Hawaii, the earthquakes have kind of calmed down since the last report. But the caldera has definitely not. You can see around the rim there, things are filling up. And it did overflow its pool. And the crater, the rim of the crater is a weakening. So that's most likely going to fill up over the next couple weeks. Overlooking Alaska, largest through the region, 4.5 at 165 kilometer depth. 
And I was expecting the uptick in seismicity here with all of the major systems running through. Overlooking United States, Silvergate, Montana reporting a 2.5 and continuing earthquakes through Mexico, 4.8 La, La Libertad, Mexico, Gulf, California. 4.1 here to report El Salvador, 102 kilometer depth. Minor activity continues here. The Virgin Islands, 3.4, the largest reported through the region, 60 kilometer depth. South America, starting to see some action. Peru there, 4.1. And as well, Bolivia, 4.5, 211 kilometer depth, deepest earthquake today. Chile, 4.8, 33 kilometer depth. And as well, Atacama, Chile. Also noting here, a 5.0 earthquake. South Sandwich Islands, 35 kilometer depth. And that's all to report here for the last 24 hours. Having a quick look at the last seven days. It's been a fairly quiet week, I would say. Our earthquakes have been averaging just over 200 earthquakes over a 24-hour period, according to USGS. Some pretty sizable ones we have seen this week, though, and still seeing a lot of deep earthquakes around the world. So heads up, stay safe, aware, and prepared. Just have a plan. Have a go bag, a survival bag with all of the essentials in it. Medical supplies, survival supplies. Morning Dew, daily events worldwide is here for you. Now we're just going to run over all of the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at Fuego in Guatemala, Hunga Tonga, which is a newly awakened volcano in which I had mentioned might happen over the next couple days and sure enough the Hunga Tonga volcano in Fiji just south of Fiji Tonga region has erupted you can look this is just north of Tonga south of Wallace and Futuna and this is a massive caldera just look at this thing this thing has blown its top once twice maybe three times before the Hunga Tonga volcano has awakened. So we're back up to 50 volcanoes erupting around the world. Now there were heat signatures being detected and then sulfur emissions. So definitely an eruption going on there. Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia, Samus Napochnoi, United States, Sabincaya in Peru, Swiss and Jima in Japan, Senge in Ecuador. Reventador in Ecuador, Luatolo, Indonesia, Nevados de Chilean in Chile, Santa Maria in Guatemala, Masaya, Popo, La Palma, and Etna. So that's about a dozen volcanoes getting updated today, and one of them is a brand new eruption. One tropical storm to talk about, still Category 3, Typhoon Rai, just scathing the eastern coast of Thailand around the same time that we see a 5.6 earthquake in Laos. Very interesting indeed. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, where we have high pressure moving in and we'll have a roller coaster temperatures, but nothing too drastic, still above seasonal, and we may see some flurries here and there. But no major weather systems heading our way until the long-range forecast where we have something big developing in the west. So we have that Alberta clipper who will be heading through northern Ontario and then another Alberta clipper heading through northern Ontario. Looks like it's going to mix with a low-pressure system on the east coast. That thing comes out of the gulf. But yeah, flurries for Ontario and then a big winter storm here for most of the Atlantic provinces. Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland. 
you've got a big low on your doorstep. And that's going to be coming in Wednesday, Thursday. You could see some pretty heavy snow totals through Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. Overlooking the west parts of Canada, minus double digits in most of the western provinces and prairies. And then we've got this low pressure system heading into BC yet again. Heavy snowfall and colder temperatures to follow through. Long range forecast looks pretty cold and snowy. So stay tuned to the dew. Look at all that snowfall as well through Sierra Nevadas, California, up into Utah. Could see two feet of snow in some areas. And then the southern states here, you've got this Gulf low coming out and running through Florida, most likely going to bring some extreme weather. But then that's going to mix with an Alberta clipper for the Atlantic province storm. Overlooking the Atlantic, still some pretty vigorous low pressure systems out there in the Atlantic and a lot of moisture. And it looks like some of the moisture now is starting to flood into western parts of Europe. High pressure ridge being smashed away. They've had a pretty dry week. But watch for rain to start moving into Spain and then parts of Ireland and the United Kingdom and eastern parts of Europe still trapped in a very cold polar vortex and you've got another system winding down for the long range watch for heavy rain in turkey overlooking russia southeast asia some very cold temperatures are being reported eastern russia minus 53 in some areas without the wind chill and those temps are flooding all the way down to hong kong or sorry, um, North Korea and South Korea. So watch for extreme cold temperature warnings to come out of there. As well, you've got Tropical Cyclone Rai, who eventually is going to make it to Japan. Dry across the Indies, not much to talk about. Most of the weather is drying out along the equator here. Overlooking Malaysia. Indonesia, daily evaporation rains, could be heavy at times through Papua New Guinea, and as well the Banda Sea, watching a low pressure system develop there, daily evaporation rains across the continent through Australia, as things are really starting to heat up, low pressure center trying to form western parts of the country, overlooking the Pacific, some rain moving in for Hawaii, and then interesting lines of moisture here. Middle of the Pacific Ocean right now. Just strange, strange forecasts. They're getting stranger by the week. Much love to everybody. We're going to have a look at South America now. Low pressure system coming out of Argentina. It's going to bring a wave of moisture through Brazil. Daily evaporation rains, nothing major to report there. Africa, no major weather systems affecting you either. You could see some heavy rain through southeastern parts of Africa. And as well, lots of rain heading towards Madagascar in the long range. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the major lows spinning across our planet right now. Much love to everybody and thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Maybe a comment, share with your friends and family. Happy holidays to everyone. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.